and uh, these are all certain uh, common points with respect to the code on wages employee and worker both the uh, terms are defined now right so so again uh, this is a kind of uh, venn diagram e means it's employee w means it's worker right in the intersection portion you can see skilled unskilled manual operational technical clerical so whoever is doing skilled work unskilled work manual work operational work technical work clerical job i think they will be considered as both workers as well as employees they fall under both the definitions right and on your right under w i think supervisory persons who are doing supervisory work and are drawing more than 15000 and the working journalists and the sales promotion employees as per the current uh, working journalists act as well as the sales promotion employees act right they are all will be considered as workers are uh, the supervisory uh, persons who are drawing supervisory work and drawing less than uh, 15000 right working journalists sales promotion employees they are all considered as workers on your left uh, i have put it as semi skill ideally this semi skilled worker should fall in the intersection portion right but it is included in employees uh, definition but it is not included in the worker definition that is the reason i have put it here that's a uh, i think that should again be an error uh, and the supervisors who are drawing more than 15000 they will not be considered as workers but they are all employees and persons who are doing managerial jobs they will be employees persons who are doing administrative jobs they will be considered as employees they are not workers so this is how we may have to understand uh, so when we when we may have to maybe as per the for the purpose of some uh, uh, legislation when we, when when we have to segregate the worker and the employee we may have to follow this uh, uh, definition very clearly and the period of limitation is 3 years for claim for any claim under the code on wages so it could be minimum wages or uh, shortage of uh, payment of minimum wages or or delayed in payment of wages or uh, shortage and delay in payment of bonus i think uh, the, the claim can be made within 3 uh, years by the individual worker it is possible now and uh, introduction of web based in inspection scheme right instead of manual inspection it is going to be uh, web based uh, it is likely that it will be it will be based on uh, uh, the the lin number allotted to each establishment uh, i think uh, using the uh, shams vidha portal this will be done and the role of inspector yes we have already discussed many a times it is changing as inspector come facilitator so he has to advise in the first place he has to guide uh, support uh, both uh, the, the uh, managements as well as uh, uh, the workers as to the compliance still if uh, some non compliance contravention is found only then he will go for action that is the idea then in case of any complaint the court can take cognizance directly from employee and register i think uh, uh, that may, this may not uh, Uh, work in favor of the employers because currently i think uh, only the inspector they will take uh, uh, note of it and uh, uh, do the uh, uh, make the complaint to the court but now instead of uh, the, the uh, inspector alone i think now the individual employee as well as the registered trade unions they can make a complaint and court can take cognizance of that right uh, then burden of proof lies with the employer so even if the uh, complaint is made by the individual worker right and finally uh, the, the employer has to prove whatever uh, points he is uh, uh, putting forth and the geographical areas classified as metropolitan non metropolitan rural i understand i think it is more for the purpose of floor wages right because floor wages it is not going to be uniform so again region to region this could differ so this classification may help in that so again we may have to understand whether we fall under metropolitan category or non metropolitan category or uh, uh, the rural category and undisbursed due and uh, it can i think the the employer can hold it for 6 months after the end of 6 months within 15 days it is to be uh, deposited with the authority concerned by the employer and of course we all know the penalty is increasing but at the same time the facility of compounding of offence only for the first time if the uh, offence does not involve uh, uh, imprisonment as punishment that can be done by the uh, employer which means i think uh, here the employer has to pay the 50% of the maximum fine prescribed uh, to the officer concerned then he can come out but that will be available only for the first time for the subsequent uh, mistakes i think it will not be possible 